So what we have here is the centre unit out of a standard uh, so-called two-pin diff. As I tilt it over, if you look on the inside, the, the two-pin refers to the fact it's pinning two gears into position, but there is only the one pin going across. Okay, So you've got your drive gears here, top and bottom, and the planet gears on the side and the pin in the middle. Now this pin has a tendency to snap in half, these two gears can crack, um, this really comes apart very quickly. One of the reasons is this centre casing here is actually a forging, it's very weak and as you can see it's extremely open. So even if the pin doesn't break, on this particular customer's vehicle uh, there was a humongous bang every time you pulled away in reverse or forwards and that's because the centre pin is now wobbling about in this uh, rather loose uh, oval fitment where the actual uh, hardened pin has worn the soft casting. How this didn't blow up is still actually a bit of a mystery um, and you can actually see where it's flaring it over here and the same on the other side. Um, quite impressive and I would think that made quite a knocking noise. It's actually sheared the cotton pins. Um, so that is your two pin diff. Um, now when you move to a four pin what actually happens is you gain another set of gears going if you like from my finger backwards through here and out the other side with two more gears one where my finger is and then one on the other side where my finger is now so you actually double the amount of gears that you have here and you're putting a second pin in why it's called a four pin i don't know because it's only got two pins but a two pin's got one pin and a four pin's got two pins but a four pin's got four, four planet gears and a two pin's only got the two so we'll have a look at a four pin now so on the normal two pin unit as you saw before what you'd actually have is you'd have a pin running through from side to side you'd have a gear at the bottom gear at the top and your two gears on the side here now on the four pin unit there's another pin that comes across this way and the only way they get them to fit is by having a cutout so that when you bring the other part of the equation in that has a cutout as well and when you put the two together they lock in on top of each other and that is a four pin unit so you now have four gears, and then a gear at the bottom, and a gear at the top. That's your unit there. Now, you'll see on the website, and you'll hear me talk about forged cross pins. And I'll show you what those are now. So back here, we've got our two pins with the two cutouts. And the cutouts allow the pins to basically go over themselves. Now on a forged cross shaft, as is I have here, it is one unit. So the unit fits in place as a complete one piece unit and the gears then fit on each of the four and I've never ever seen one of these break. They're immensely strong. Now this one is actually a uh, P38 four pin which we can modify to fit into a long nose casing um, but these are drying up. The uh, the standard uh, P38s have these. Uh, these are a military upgrade from the Wolf uh, units and also a couple of specialist manufacturers used to make them but no longer do. But there is also another possibility you may come. Now here we have a uh, standard Land Rover genuine um, special vehicles 4-pin um, and this one being a special vehicles has its own 4-pin. However, it is slightly smaller than the P38 one, but still an immensely strong diff. Quite often you will find these with the crossovers with the piece cut out of them, but occasionally, like this one, they'll turn up. Uh, this one's going to be refurbished and rebuilt, but these are a fantastic little unit, and these need no modification because these were actually made specifically for the uh, long nose differentials. These came out of Land Rover V890s, um, and the majority of them were fitted either as a heavy duty upgrade or as a military uh, spec unit which has found its way um, having been uh, sent into the civilian world but if you can find one of these they are immensely strong if you can't find one of those then P38 4 pin conversion with a solid cross shaft if you can find one um, you can actually buy this from Land Rover as an option uh, they are £328 plus VAT, so uh, the stock I've got tends to be good used second hand ones. But that's fundamentally the difference between a 2 pin diff and a 4 pin diff. 
both open differentials, no locking whatsoever, but now you understand why a four pin is that much stronger. And now there it is with the four gears in place on the cross shaft so you can see how it all goes together. Thanks very much for watching, bye for now.